Welcome to 2230, where we bring you the latest updates on political developments and controversies around the world. Today, we dive deep into the ongoing Singaporean political drama involving Lee Hsien Yang, younger brother of Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long, and Cabinet Ministers K. Shun Mugam and Vivian Bolakrishnan. In a shocking turn of events, Lee Hsien Yang took to social media on Monday, July 31, to make explosive claims that he was coerced into lying in his public apology to Ministers Shunmugam and Bolakrishnan. According to his post, he was pressured into making a statement different from what he originally intended, raising questions about the authenticity of the initial apology. Li Xianyang asserted that the apology demanded of him was for statements that were never made in his original post. He firmly stated, no Singaporean should have to lie to avoid lawsuits. This allegation adds another layer of complexity to the ongoing dispute between Li Xianyang and the two cabinet ministers. The initial conflict arose when Li Xianyang, in a Facebook post on July 23, accused the ministers of leasing state-owned mansions from an agency one of them controls. He further alleged that the ministers received preferential treatment by illegally felling trees without approval and having state-sponsored renovations at 26 and 31. Ridout Road. However, in an earlier statement, Mr. Lee clarified that his post did not accuse ministers Shunmugam and Bolakrishnan of acting corruptly or for personal gain. Instead, he claimed that his post merely stated facts already widely published in Singaporean and international media. The situation escalated when the ministers responded, threatening legal action against Lee Hsien Yang for defamation. On July 27, Minister Shunmugam said they had asked for an apology, withdrawal of the allegations, and payment of damages to be donated to charity. If Li Xianyang failed to comply, they would proceed with a lawsuit. To add fuel to the fire, the government issued a correction order under the Protection from Online Fossids and Manipulation Act, POFMA, to Li Xianyang on July 25th. The POFMA office stated that Lee's Facebook post contained false statements of fact regarding the Ridout Road rentals and the circulation numbers scandal involving Singapore press holdings. The stakes are high as this dispute unfolds, with legal action and political ramifications hanging in the balance. As of now, the situation remains tense, and the public is eagerly waiting for further updates and clarifications from all parties involved. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analysis and coverage of global political events. As always, we encourage you to leave your comments and opinions below and engage in a respectful and constructive discussion. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay informed and stay curious.